Hi, I'm Contessa. Welcome back to my corner. Today we're going to go over your crown chakra. And why? Because it's time to. This is our wonderful, wonderful, wonderful connection to spirit. And this is the one thing that is fantastic to work with. If you have any psychic abilities or gifts, which I know we all do, we just need to work on them, this would be the stone that you would want to work with. Make sure, too, that you're grounding your energy and that you have something like a smoky quartz around. These guys are fantastic. This is going to balance your crown chakra and then allow it to connect back into Mother Earth. Here's another beautiful, I got this one for Christmas, smoky quartz. These guys are pretty epic. These are going to make sure that the energy that's coming from above, that you're clearing out this crown chakra, which is your gateway to enlightenment. You want to make sure that you're not getting too spacey when you're working with an amethyst or the very fast, high vibrating stones. You don't want to be too, too spacey because you're up in the clouds. And then what's happening is, is these, these things that are coming through to you for your psychic gifts or if you're a medium and you really need to be able to clearly speak what is going on from the spirit world to this world, you need to be able to translate that in such a way that it's comfortable, that it's correct, and that the people who need to hear it have the healing that's needed. This is a beautiful amethyst that I love to work with. I hope you can enjoy feeling the energy of this and let that pulsate through you. I also have a whole bunch of fun tumbled ones. These guys are perfect. You don't need a big stone like that. You can start working with a really tiny one and place it on your head and just relax and tune into your meditation because these little guys will work just as good as the big guys, especially if you're just now beginning. When you place this on your crown during meditation, it's going to increase your confidence and your concentration. And when it's worn kind of more like a necklace, a ring, or even a bracelet, <laughs> it's going to let go of any of your anxiety or nervousness, which is really fantastic. And if you have migraines, I highly recommend you always keep one around. When this removes the negativity, it kind of works as like a tranquilizer so that you can see the source of your addiction patterns um, or anything that would be an entity that is not correctly with you. It's going to relax and get rid of all that stuff for you so that you can see your own true reality. This is fantastic. It's also really fantastic at being multifaceted and accelerating your psychic abilities. It's going to calm your mind in such a way so that you have sharp, focused awareness. And when that happens, you know, it's like it clears out this emotional behavior that we've been needing to clear out. I highly recommend you sit with one because when your angels are really talking to you or your spirit guide is really talking to you or universal love is, is trying to communicate with you, if that's blocked, then, you know, we kind of have like a very difficult time concentrating. And we want to make sure that these are really clear and calm. This is also considered a not drunk stone, so it's kind of fun to keep around if you have that one friend that really needs a little bit of extra help. It's going to calmly allow them to really see them for who they are instead of needing to constantly be filling themselves with something. I really enjoy sitting with amethyst and allowing it to tune in my crown chakra and I also make sure that I'm sticking with something that's going to be a grounding stone too. As you get higher up in the chakras, you kind of start getting a little bit more fun stuff coming through. So make sure that you're grounding this energy back into Mother Earth so that you're really enjoying what's coming through as this beautiful gift. I hope you really enjoy the amethyst today. Thank you so much for joining me. and I'll be back again soon. Thank you.